We're getting some major updates coming in on the Uber uh, rape case. CNN Ibn has spoken to the U.S. lawyer hired by the Delhi Uber cab rape survivor. U.S. attorney Douglas H. Wigder says that he will use all resources to bring Uber to book. Wigder has praised Delhi police for handling the case professionally. Wigder has also said that the rape survivor should be commended for her bravery. Wigder, in fact, had represented Nafisao Diallo, the hotel maid who accused former IMF managing director Dominic Strauss-Kahn of rape and sexual assault earlier. Uber cab services have been banned in many Indian states after they failed to follow due diligence in vetting drivers after the victim, after a woman in Delhi was raped by an Uber cab driver. The driver, Shiv Kumar Yadav, is being tried by a fast-track court. The U.S. attorney whom, uh, who has been appointed by uh, the Delhi, uh, Delhi, uh, Delhi rape victim has said and uh, has told CNN, I mean, and I quote, My praise extends to the Delhi police for their professionalism in locating the perpetrator and gathering the evidence this, uh, for, of this detestable crime as well as the Department of Transportation for their courage in enforcing a ban on Uber. We will use all of our resources to vindicate my clients' rights and to hold those responsible for their actions." Unquote. For more on this, we are now being joined by Sahil Meghani from Delhi. Good morning, Sahil. Sahil, can you uh, tell us this case that the Uber cab rape survivor is going to fight in the United States, will it have any bearing on the case that is being fought here in Delhi? Uh, not really, Edwin, because uh, uh, the cases are being fought under two different uh, uh, law frameworks, legal frameworks. So they will carry out uh, in a separate uh, framework and hence will have no bearing on each other. Uh, what it will do is put more pressure on the company. Remember, it's just not in India, but in fact in U.S. and as well as in other countries that Uber has been facing a flag for one reason or another. It also received flag and when Sydney crisis happened. It has been facing similar allegations as it faced in India of uh, driver verification not being done properly in other countries as well. So what it will do is put more pressure globally and this case is going to be fought in the home country or where, where it uh, started its services. So that will be uh, uh, the major point to highlight. But uh, uh, um, too early to say that it will have any bearing on the case being carried out here in India. Uh Sahil, the other uh, point that I want to touch upon was the fact that Uber cabs are still continuing with their services in cities where it has been banned. Cities like Delhi, Hyderabad, they have banned uh, services by the Uber uh, cab service, but they are still continuing. Uh, our Hyderabad correspondent uh, Sakshi Khan had found out uh, details about how uh, Uber cabs are flying in Hyderabad. What is the status here in Delhi? Is Uber still flying? Edwin, in Delhi, legally it stands um, 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 banned in a way because, uh, remember, uh, it was banned by the Transport uh, uh, Department of the Capital uh, uh, soon after the news of this case uh, came out. And then Uber began receiving a lot of flack from different sections of the society. However, uh, the, the Department of Transport uh, receiving a once again response uh, from the public uh, changed some rules and and then uh, invited many companies like Uber to modify it, the way it uh, operates. Uh, but since Uber wasn't able to meet even the new guidelines, the ban on Uber um, uh, continued. So uh, legally speaking, uh, uh, Uber can't fly in the capital. Sahil Murli Meghani from Delhi, thanks for all those updates.